Hello everyone, welcome to Informatica support videos. This is Pragya Varma from Informatica GCs and in this video I will be presenting to you how to create an alert to send the notification if the task exceeds the threshold in the CDN. So let's get started. The agenda in this video would be, we'll discuss about what is Operation Insight, how we can configure the alerts, what is Data Integration Alert, how we can configure the alerts for the data integration job. At the end, we'll have a demonstration for the same. So let's get started by giving you the brief about what is Operational Insight. Operational Insight is a service in ISCs that gives you the visibility into the performance and operation efficiency to your Informatica infrastructure. You can use this service to monitor the Informatica services as well as Informatica on-premise product. This service is aware about the runtime environment, security, Secure Agent Services, IECS and the Domain in Infrastructure. Along with that, it provides you the runtime statistic, asset configuration and provides you the up-to-date uh, overview of your Informatica deployments. Now we'll talk about how we can configure the alert. So in the Operation Insight, we can configure the alert and can set the notification when the issue occurs in a services within the organization or alerts for the specific Informatica asset as well. If you see the UI, this is how it's like for the Operation Insight. We'll be covering the same thing in the demonstration part. Now what is Data Integration Alert? So when we configure the Operation Insight to send the alert for the data integration job, we need to select the specific job in the organization. For example, you want to configure an alert to notify when the mapping task in a project is been running for more than 5 minutes or you want to receive an alert when the task has loaded for the target field. To configure the alert, one must have the admin and the operator user role or a custom role user role within the data integration job alert privileges for the operation inside. You can configure the alert for the following data integration asset that is mapping task, synchronization task, dynamic mapping task, dynamic transfer transition task, power center task, and linear task flow. You can configure the operation inside to take the following action when it send the alert. So we can make the first operation as in we can send the emails to a specified user or the user group. When we have an option to restart the failed job, in that also we can send the notification. In terms of stopping running jobs, also we can get the notification for the same. Operation Insight sends the email alerts for the five, first 550 alerts per hour, then 4000 alerts per day and 28000 alerts per week in the organization. Configuring the alert for the data integration jobs. So we can configure and manage the alerts for the data integration job as well. To do so, we need to basically navigate to the Operation Insight service where we need to go to the data integration tab and under the job we need to select the specific job where on which we want to create an alert through which we can define the specific um, options based on which we want to specify the alert and get the notification for the same thing. This is how the UI looks like when we are performing and creating the alerts on the specified job. So now let's jump into the quick demonstration. I have already logged into my ISCs portal. We need to navigate to the Operation Insight service. So I've opened my Operation Insight server. This is how the UI looks like. These are the options provided under the Operation Insight. So to configure the uh, notification, we need to go to the alert tab where you can see you can get the alert received for the follow filtration like you can add a filtration when you want to get an alert you can add the filtration to get the notification alert notification for 24 hours 7 hours and even you can customize based on the date range so you can even get the alert for the infrastructure alerts data integration mass ingestion and the power center alerts as well so if the service is like data integration mass ingestion or power center goes down you can configure the alerts for the same thing if I open the data integration alerts, you see this option like create alert. So you can create an alert for the data integration service over here. Now in order as per our use case, if we want to get the notification alerts for the task exceeding the threshold in the CDN. So for that we need to go to data integration over here. And the UI looks like this. So you can see like how many job connection everything have been available over here. We need to navigate to the job page. Now once we have navigated over here, 
you see the list of in tasks which are being run in your monitor page or listed in your monitor page so let's assume your task this has been failing within threshold error so you can come here click on this three dot button click on create button alert option the ui for the clear create option will look like this you need to specify the name you can give the any random name something like this and come down here you can see the asset which you have selected on which you want to get an alert if it exceeded the threshold in the cdi and you need to select the alert condition so basically among this any one of the or based on your requirement you can select the job state so without this job state you won't be able to get this option enabled for you so if i make it running this option will be available to me that state that if my job is running more than five second or minute over here and we get this threshold error we should be getting an email notification for the same thing so you need to come here enable this any of the options get the threshold increase the duration on after which you want the notification should be sent to the user come down give the username of which you basically want to get the notification at the specific user and save this out once you have saved you can see that this is how that alerts seems to be here where the name of the alert which you have specified while configuring will be listed out on which job you have defined the alert is also will be listing so this is how we can configure the or create the alert to send the notification if the task exceeds the threshold in the cdi always refers to the informatica knowledge base and have the document handy i've added couple of fin document links over here so that it would be easy for you guys to go and explore more on the operation insight and set the notification for the same thing also we would love to hear from you for any review and feedback please reach out to us on support videos at the rate informatica.com or you can tweet us in informatica support thank you everyone hope you find this video useful for confirming the email notification in the operation insight